Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. We're going to be doing a general weekly message here and then I will break it down into three groups. You can choose which one you want to add on to this one. If you do want a personal reading with me, go to my website, angelsouls444.com. There's one card. Oh, okay. Um, we'll talk about it. <laughs> and if you want to try a live reading with me, those get booked in a different way. And they're at a different price point. So you'll have to email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com. We'll get that all worked out. Thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon because that makes it possible and gets me closer to just doing this full time. So thank you all so much. And uh, did I say Gumroad courses? So have courses up over at Gumroad. All right, there's all that stuff out of the way. We've got 10 of air. And then we have some other stuff here. Five of earth. We're doing great. Okay, the world. <laughs> hang in there. Hang in there. We're going to be fine. <laughs> Life experience. Okay, so listen. Actually, I shouldn't be laughing at this because this could be something serious going on. Um, you know, normally I try to make these timeless, um, but I think this would be for the first, like around the first week of April would probably be when this gets released. Let me put them back in order as they came out. So let's just break this down. Ten of air, the end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and expect things to get better now. Recovering from an addiction. This is a very drastic ending. This is, boom, it's done. Um, I, I got to read these together. Sorry. Five of earth, fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment now what can these two possibly mean together um it's a new way there's something going on in the world right that might be surrounding money but and it, and it can be very shocking because we have the life experience card here but is this like stock market crash or something like that that stuff's always it's always doing its thing okay <laughs> Like, we can be steady here. This is more about a mentality, all right, than actually being in danger or actually, you know, having this be some, I don't know, detrimental time in history. You know what I'm saying? So the things on the surface, and because the world card is here, we'll talk about this. This is a good card, okay? But I'm seeing world, I'm seeing an ending. Um, we feel like, um, something like the door got closed on us, but the five of earth, it's saying, you know, it's kind of like unnecessary worry. It's going to seem worrisome on the surface, but don't allow yourself to go there. Okay. So this Archangel Michael, a job well done. So you've got this and what is ever happening around this time, uh, it's for good. Okay. It's, it's a, it doesn't, it's not going to seem like a good thing, but it is. Okay. Joy, contentment, and gratitude, the path toward enlightenment so all of these things will probably come crumbling down because it's trying to teach us something it's trying to get us to wake up and it's going to open the world to us okay and then we have archangel shamuel with life experience so shamuel helps us reach our fullest potential and she's all about love so this is a time where we have to be there for one another and not go into the fear but realize that thing that is falling apart it's what we didn't want in the first place. So don't give in to the fear. I see a lot, you know, every time something out in the economy is going on, everybody starts kind of getting panicky and there's no need for it. Okay. There's absolutely no need for it. A significant life event, like an awakening. Okay. A powerful revelation that leads to change. Time to spread your wings. This is a very freeing moment. It's not something that is going to destroy us. Although it may be presented as if it is there to destroy us. Make sense? Let's get a color card. Oh. So it's going to be like a, <clears throat> a heavy, heavy turnabout. You feel me? So it's kind of like if, if you've just been going along in life with your eyes closed. Yeah, this is going to get you. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be... This is definitely going to be something. All right. Okay. 
So we have black, find richness from the dark of night. The number is 28. Let me bring my mic a little bit closer. There could be a world event. <clears throat> I'm going to sit with this. Hold on. There's the card. This indicates a world event. So something's going down. Um, but it, we don't have, I mean, there's a little bit about money here, but that's not the full part of the message. Whenever we have cards like this, I'm sorry, but with this five of earth, it's like, it's almost like don't go into that building. Don't go in there. Maybe avoid crowded places. Um, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, there needs to be some extra caution going on here. Again, if you don't feel right about walking into a certain area, don't go there. Um, I'm getting mixed feelings around this like it feels like something very serious happening out in the world but it may not affect everybody as individuals directly okay but it's something very disappointing and it may have to do with either it being caused by fellow humans or if it's a natural type thing that humans didn't respond in the proper way and didn't help in the way that they could all right there's something coming. There's something coming. And I I hear all the time, and it's very disheartening to hear this. What do you want us to do with this? Like, you tell us these scary things, and then what do you want us to do? I want you to take accountability for yourself and do what you need to do to protect yourself or get prepared. And that's all I can tell you. That's it. Listen to your instincts. All right, so we're going to leave that there. We're going to get on to the groups. Hi there, group one. Let's get on with your reading, angelsouls444.com. For standard readings, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com to schedule a live reading that does have a different price point, but I can let you know all of that when you reach out. Check out Gumroad for courses, and thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. You make this work possible. So let's see. What do we have for you? Ace of Air. Okay. It's a little bit of a far cry from the general part of it, but go back because you're getting the same card. Go back and listen to the beginning of this. Eight of Earth, a learning experience, and a, and a start over, like an emotional restart. So, <clears throat> let, me, let me get the color card while we're at it. I want to read this all together. So something, there's a sudden realization. I mean, it's it's like a rude awakening. Ace of Air is good, but it can be a shock. It could be something that you didn't know suddenly coming to light and you're looking around going, okay, I, I got to sit with this. Yeah, so now we have Scarlet Attract Success. So let's talk about all of this. Did I get it? Okay. <laughs> so Ace of Air, and it says, brilliant new ideas and inspirations, seeing the truth of a situation, a challenging beginning. So 
this might be in order for me to attract success and the number is seven on this card here in order to attract success I need to change I need something to absolutely deconstruct and go away and this is 16 reduces to seven as well seven in angel numbers is archangelic encouragement protection guidance okay now the life experience card it's Archangel Shamuel on here um, as I said, uh, a significant life event, a powerful revelation that leads to change time to spread your wings. So, uh, this is like a demolition. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like a demolition of sorts, but it gets you going in the direction you really need to be going in. So no more holdups, no more. And I know as people listen to these messages, you might start trying to craft it to make it be very literal in your mind I wouldn't do that don't do that don't try to contrive the message around it this feels like something that is something you don't know a whole lot about okay because <laughs> we have eight of earth skilled work is rewarded learning all there is to know about a topic going back to school and then we have page of water intuitive sensitive artistic friendly a new person enters your life a relationship begins a new phase heightened psychic abilities so this is um making a very big choice maybe based on what you're seeing out in the world and you're going you know what the old way I can't keep doing the old way it's not where the world is going this would be the equivalent of people who were scared of social media when it first started coming out and I still have people going why are you putting things on YouTube shorts like why are you doing that because it's 2023 that's why right so you know there could be something here where you know you got to get with the future you need to take a different approach because the way things have been done that's not going to exist anymore this could be you learning dare I say learning how to use AI in your career um and maybe it has there's an emotional restart here so maybe if you felt stagnant and stuck you start to learn something new and it really opens everything up for you but you gotta go back and watch the original video at the beginning because I'm telling you this all goes together so something is moving and shaking out in the world and it ends up being really really good but don't go into like hoarding mode that's going to come crashing back on you for example even if it's energy, if you're just like trying to take, take, take someone's energy and you never give back, even if it's in a tiny way, you don't do that energy exchange, it's going to come crashing in on you and you're not going to have the success. Why? Because you have a debt to pay. So watch your karma around this time. Certainly whatever is going on, don't go into panic mode and go try taking away from everybody else. Or thinking, well, I don't care what actually happens to the entire economy. I'm going to protect me. I'm looking out for number one. <laughs> it's You're going to fail. You're going to fail miserably. So let's not. And let's just get on to group two. Bye. <laughs> Hi, group two. So this is fun, right? This is great. Readings, angelsouls444.com, unless you want a live reading, that has to be done differently and there is a different price point for that. Email me at angelsouls444, <laughs> angelsouls444 at gmail.com to see how we can schedule that. Of course, check out the courses on Gumroad and thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. You get me closer to being able to just do, doing video content uh, on a full-time basis, <laughs> all right? Okay, let's see what we have for you guys. We're seeing a lot of things cracking open. We're seeing a lot of things unfolding here. So for you, we have three of fire. It's like, okay, so this particular deck, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but we'll try. There is a volcano there in the background that is erupting. It is actively erupting. And down here we have a dragon and a little girl. Okay, but they are at a distance. So for you starting off this reading, it's sort of like you're seeing the stuff going on in the world. You're seeing things erupting, cracking open, but you're keeping your distance, not out of 
being delusional and saying, oh, that doesn't concern me, but more like I don't have anything to contribute to that. So I'm going to stay here until there's more information or staying, I would say at a safe distance. Okay. This says abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time. Make long-term plans. So I was saying this for the message at the beginning of the video. And if you didn't watch it, that's part of this. You just missed half of your message. So <laughs> go back and watch that. But this is saying, um, like there, there's going to be a bump in the road. It's the patience part. So I've seen in that, that beginning thing, like don't panic when you see things happening out in the world. Because see that again, when we see things like that where everybody starts hoarding or they're doing a run on the banks or anything like that, that is that self-preservation mode completely breaking down. You're making it worse and you're taking people down. You know what I mean? Just tread lightly around this time, okay? So then we have justice, Archangel Raguel, fair and just decisions, do what you know is right, stand up for your beliefs. Now, Raguel is all about be nice to your fellow man, right? We're learning things through one another. So don't take this route of being unfair or what is going on for some of you. There might be a court battle, a decision that needs to be made. Or it may not even directly involve you. It might be someone else's fight. But you're watching it closely. Okay, watching. Well, I think. Who knows? There's going to be so many trials being televised at that point. Or some sort of. Um, we have to decide if this is legal or not legal. You might have contracts to sign. I don't know that this is necessarily like you having to jump into the fight, but you're keeping an eye on it. You're keeping an eye on what the latest and greatest is. Okay. Queen of water. Okay. So you have help coming. You have somebody who, <coughs> pardon me, as things are going down, someone has some advice for you. Someone is watching out for you. This could be someone you know, it doesn't even have to be a someone. It can be <laughs> you getting in touch with your angelic team. I'm going to lay it out there. I know a lot of people wouldn't say that, but hi, who am I? I'm an angel medium. That's what we do here. So this is when you feel lost or you feel like uh, too scrambled from what's going on out in the world. Um, you're feeling imbalanced. One of the messages that's coming up right now is to make sure we're balancing getting too involved and stirred up and not caring at all. Okay. Just a healthy amount of being involved. So there's a scales of justice there. Helping to bring that message of balance forward. But this queen of water, tender hearted, empathetic, patient, loving, romantic relationships develop to a new level. Trust your intuition. Care for yourself and others in an appropriate, balanced way. Maybe from a distance, okay? So there's that part of you um, putting some caring out into the world but this shows that someone comes along this could be someone who maybe is older than you or just more experienced than you coming with some support okay um this could also be somebody who's the head of an organization again i know like strict tarot readers calm down all right some of us are using our intuition <laughs> We're not just going by the strict meaning of the cards. But the Queen of Water, to me, just in this context with the energy that I'm picking up from everybody here, this could be someone, um, a female who's in power, a queen, right, who uh, makes a decision that helps people out. Then you have Ace of Fire. So with this help, this could be an agent. This could be a, a boss, right? Um it could be someone's mother, like there's this motherly feel there. Um, this mother that comes forward and says, hey, I know somebody who has this job open. Are you interested? You know what I'm saying? Like, just keep an eye out for this queen of water person, but know that you're being asked to express some of that queen of water as well. So Ace of Fire, an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, change your life now. So if you are being balanced, not letting world events rattle you. This could actually open up some opportunities for you. 
right? Like, I don't, I don't, I'm laughing because it's just so weird. Um, it's like a weird turn of events. It's the kind of thing, like, with the things that have been going on for the past three years, suddenly therapists had a lot of clients, right? Because people were wanting to talk about it. It's kind of weird. And, like, I'm not saying, like, benefit from somebody else's downfall. I'm not saying that. But there could be something that you offer or you discover you want to offer that actually is helping people with what they're experiencing, okay? Or... I don't know, that Queen of Water, you'd have to get a personal reading to figure out exactly how all that comes together for you specifically. But that Queen of Water, it's a person, right, that's coming and maybe has the news of the offer or is actually making the offer. All right, so let's get you a color card here. Let's see what else is going on. I almost forgot the color card and almost moved on. <laughs> and I was like, oh, wait, hold on. Okay. So we have magenta. Connect your deepest inner knowing the number is five. You know it is time for a change. You know, you know what's coming. You know, if you really tap into it and you know that it might not look pleasant in the moment, but once we get to the other side, that's where this much needed change has occurred. And you know what's coming. You know how to handle it. Don't fight the changes that are coming, all right? Again, these changes might be working to your benefit, okay? So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care, and we're going to move on to group three. Hello, group three. Let's see what's going on for you. Personal readings, angelsouls444.com. For my standard readings, email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com to see... It's the hermit. <laughs> so we'll talk about that. Um, yeah, so email me if you want a live reading. We'll see if there's any availability. It's a different price point. Also, there are courses at Gumroad. And thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who supports me on Patreon. Anybody who just even gives a dollar a year gets me one step closer to doing video content full time. And liking and sharing and subscribing, all that helps out quite a bit too. All right. So you guys have the hermit. The number is nine. Nine is coming to a completion with a lesson and it's a job well done. And Archangel Razio is the light in the dark. He comes out with a different perspective, but that perspective has to be done once everything is quieted down. So it says spend time in quiet meditation, spiritual teaching, and self-discovery. So you might be wanting to hold back a little bit, reconnect, I almost get the feeling of like, I need to shut out the world for a second. <laughs> like, I need to give myself a minute, a beat. But don't do that for too long. Don't do that because then you're just trying to escape. And you might miss some opportunities. Justice. I think this came up for group two. This is Archangel Raguel. There might be a lot of legal battles going on maybe in your own life or maybe you're just watching the legal battles unfold fair and just decisions do what you know is right stand up for your beliefs in this context it's like okay I'm holding back and I'm being quiet as I watch this but I just got the feeling of protests and as I record this there are protests going on all over the world specifically in Paris but I wonder if more won't sort of blossom from this, whatever this is. Let's see. Yeah, that hermit kind of takes on the feeling of stop everything. We need to look at this, right? And then realizing, nope, this is unjust. Or this is an injustice. Like we're not we're not tolerating this. Okay. Strength, numbers eleven, Archangel Ariel. Great inner strength, release harsh judgments, forgiveness, and compassion. Something's going down, man. I record these in advance, you know, when I can. I, I Right now, I'm recording these well in advance. What the heck's going on? <laughs> What's going on? So strength, uh, Archangel Ariel is about material manifestations, standing strong. Raguel is like, I usually say, play nice with others or learning through other souls. But this could also be uh, souls coming together to help. 
against a common cause. I don't know, but it's going to take some effort here. The lovers. Well, that's okay. Uh, so the number is six. It's Archangel Raphael, and it says, uh, intimate relationships, carefully weigh your decisions, good health. Well, that is sticking out of this reading. Okay. Uh, partnership, pairing up with other people, uh, people coming together for a common, a common cause, having support, or, you know, this, I don't want to say this, for some of you, it's by going through whatever this incident is that somehow brings you together. I remember like during some really awful times in the past, if I was by myself and I know someone who maybe I was dating, like they're by themselves, it actually brought us together and we ended up bonding over the things that we were experiencing. So this is weird, okay? Not only the lover's card, hey, love's coming, good for you. But with this, with this, and this, what? Okay, be careful some of you out there who are just starting to feel lonely and scared and you reach out to that toxic ex. I wouldn't do that. Let's get a color card. I don't know. In that context, the lover's card kind of gives me the feeling of needing support and like people bonding and like I said, coming together because something kind of freaky is going on out there. Now, if we get to this week and nothing's going on, never assume things are not happening just because you don't see them. You know, something's stirring for sure. All right. Gray. Learn to scan your body. The number is 29. That reduces to 11 as well. A master number. I don't want to scare anybody, okay? <laughs> like, that's not it. Um, you know, we've been training for stuff like this. Be careful who you run to. Um, and it's not like for everybody it's going to be like explosive events and all this. I mean, there could be, yeah, obviously there's some indication that there's a certain energy happening during that time. Um, but make sure you're paying attention to you. Do not let the stress of these times overtake you. These are necessary shifts. And even if they don't look good on the surface, eventually it is opening up to something far greater, something that absolutely needed to come along. But the destruction had to come first, and that's what we're in. All right? Don't panic. <laughs> There's no panicking. Again, a collective energy could shift, and maybe everything evens out. Just keep that in mind, all right? So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.